next song is everybody, everybody in, uh, to use that word again, country music, uh, which this is, is, um, is supposed to write a song about Hank Sr. And I did uh, anyway. This song is called Life on the Road. explain what that's about. See, everybody knows that the only way you make money is to have singles, right? You can have singles. Now, of course, the singles don't make any money because they don't make any money on the singles. They make the money on the albums. They got to have the singles to sell the albums, but you got to have a single on the album. We get, okay, right. Well, we've heard all about this, right? Okay. Now, the deal is, why fuck with it if the radio ain't going to play it? Why write the damn song, you know? So, I, before I teach any of these songs to the band, I demo them up and I send them to a consultant. You know, I don't rely on inspiration to write these songs. I do the same thing as the radio station. You don't think the guys at the radio stations listen to those records. Hell, they rely on research. And that's how I write my songs. And so we determined that there had been enough downplaying and derogating of everybody and everything in this great country of ours, and it was time to write something with a positive message. Something happy and upbeat. And so I'd like to tell you about 
my, my song. You may begin the song, gentlemen. Say or don't say in a song. As long as you got the hook in the chorus, so folks can sing along. I hired a consultant and I'll focus group, and that's what they said to me. So together we wrote our happiest song in all of history. Scientifically, we researched the words that our target audience needed to hear. We carefully avoided anything that might disturb or create annoyance and fear. Then we waited it for demographic balance. Yeah, we seasonally adjusted it too. And we came out with a song that was a part of marketing, and I'm going to sing it now for you. Frisky wow. I sure like apple pie. Daddy, I love you at the end of a long, hard day. And I wrap a band-aid around his poor little finger and I kiss his tears away. I like sugar and spice and everything nice and I even like snails and frogs. And I'll personally execute anybody who don't like kids and dogs. So if you get hit by a truck, if you're not carrying your medical insurance for me, or if you're feeling kind of down on your luck, just go to the bank, do the way you farm. Lighten up, hey, what the heck? Turn on your TV, and I'll sing you this happy song to sing along with me. Security is not always the end of the story. I was a washed up, burnt out over the hell showbiz failure, and I was only 29 years old. So I figured maybe it's time to get on change careers and spin my straw in that gold. So I got me a job in Washington, D.C., writing speeches for the president. 